In the seventh step of the gearbox assembly, we need to center the worm gear within the housing. But we can't even see the worm gear right now, though it is already inside this assembly model. To see the worm gear, let's right click on the top cover and then click on the hide icon that shows up in the pop-up toolbar. It's the hide components. This will temporarily hide the top cover so that we can see inside our gearbox. Right now the, the worm gear can translate along the worm gear shaft, but we don't quite want that. We want it to be centered within the housing. So to do this, we need a more, ad we need a more advanced mate. So go up to mate in the assembly tab of the command manager. And then instead of using a standard mate, we're going to use an advanced mate, which we could expand by clicking the down arrow of advanced mates. The advanced mate that we're going to use is width. Width allows us to choose four references. Two that will be the, re be the references for our center and then two more which will be the tab references that are on the part that we want to center. So you can see that we have two separate selections, one for width selections and one for tab selections. The order of which you select your faces doesn't matter a whole lot. For example, wh whether your housing sides are your width selections or your tab selections, that doesn't matter significantly. But what does matter is that you select the width selections to, t together and the tab selections together. So for example, for my whip selections, I'll select the right face, the right in interface of my housing, and the left interface of my housing together. And then for the tab selections, I'll select the right face of my worm gear and the left face of my worm gear. And you, you can see that my worm gear moves slightly. It centered the worm gear within the housing. To confirm our mate, go up to the property manager and click the OK button. And we've just created a width. Now we're done adding mates to this assembly, so click the OK check mark again to get out of the mate command. Now if you try and move the worm gear, you'll see that it doesn't translate any, any, anymore, but it does still rotate with the worm gear shaft as it should. Now let's bring the top cover back. Because we can't see the top cover, we can't actually right click on it. So we have to right click on it in the feature manager and then click show in the pop-up toolbar, show components. And now our gearbox is nearly complete. Now would be a good time to take some notes based off what we've talked about in this video. I've prepared a Microsoft Word document for you to observe and either copy or put into your own words based off what you believe you need to know from this, from this video. We've covered hiding components and we've covered the width mate. I'll scroll and pause so that you can see all that I've written and either copy or write it in your own words or add or modify anything as you see fit.